All right, we've arrived here at Toledo's Express Airport. This is um, just outside of Toledo, Ohio, and it was about an hour and a half drive to get here. Now this is our first time flying um, out of the Express Airport here. It is not exactly Toledo. It is um, just located outside of Toledo here. And um, we are gonna be flying into Orlando Sanford's Airport, which is pretty much exclusively used by Allegiant Airlines. So let's see how this goes. We made it into the airport and it's very small. This is really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and check in and get our, like drop our bags and uh, we'll see how it goes. So we did arrive really early um, and we got here. We were basically the first people here. And so it's now about an hour before the flight is gonna start boarding and people are starting to line up, but the um, actual people who work at the airport, um, the Legion counter are not here yet. So we're just gonna sit and wait and let the line go through. And then we're gonna get up and check in our bags. I'm a little worried that my bag's overweight. I just couldn't decide what I wanted to bring. That's why I brought everything. It's a cruise, right? So we made it through security and we are here and there are five gates. We are going to be um, gate number five. They do have like a little restaurant area. Um, it looks like a bar and a store. So I'm shocked because I thought for sure it would be vending machines only. Um, but five gates and uh, we are upstairs. It's very peaceful, really pretty kind of luxurious because there's nobody here and you can just kind of do your own thing. So, so far, I really love this airport. Okay, so we're in route to Florida. So excited. So far, we've had a really good flight and um, they said that the weather in Orlando is 85 degrees. We're so excited to land. Um, I can't believe it's that hot. It's December. We're just like, it's perfect. over to baggage claim to get our bag. So we made it to the rental car uh, building, which is located 
right outside of the baggage claim. So you just go across the street and that's where you would pick up your rental car. All right, we've arrived here at Universal's Endless Summer Docks Side Inn and Suites. That's a mouthful. <laughs> so we are all checked in here at Dockside. Um, Check-in was a little bit slow because it, it was just so many people. We have stayed here multiple times now for very long stays and short stays. And by far, this is the most people I've ever seen here at the resort. On the one hand, it's really cool because it's nice to see everybody back at the parks, but also, wow, overwhelming. So, we're, um, it's about 8.30. We got here around 7.45, so it took us about 45 minutes to check in. So, it is now 9.10. We finally got through the parking garage and into our room. We're staying on the 10th floor. Um, it's 10.73 is our room. We have the standard dockside room with the two beds. I'm so excited to be here. Everything smells fresh, but let's take a little peek at the like room. We have the one single stain. Oh, and we have a shower in this one instead of a tub shower combo. So that's a little bit different. We have our little closet and our two beds. And let's take a peek and see what kind of view we got. We are looking at the parking garage. And I believe that is the laundry service for all of Universal or for at least these two hotels. So that is the laundry rooms there. And we are looking at the expressway and the Hampton Inn. So not the best view, but that's okay. We're really using this hotel as just a place to stay for the night. And then we're headed off to the cruise port. So we were just stopping in um, our original plan was to go to City Walk, but we're just like too knackered. We are going to bed. We are so exhausted. Um, we've been traveling all day from Michigan to Ohio, and now we're here in Florida. We had a really nice dinner. I might insert a couple pictures from our dinner, but we were celebrating my dad retiring. So we just really wanted to just have a special evening. We went over to Celebration um, over near Disney World, and then we drove back. So. We are exhausted and um, tomorrow morning, so this was just our travel day, just a real quick, you know, get here and unwind. I'm looking forward to tomorrow because we're checking in for our cruise. And um, I don't know, those of you, this will be our first cruise for the channel. Um, we are going to go through all of the fun things on how to enjoy a carnival cruise. And I'm so excited for that, that starts tomorrow. And um, so right now we are going to sleep. Good night. Good morning from Dockside. We had a great night's sleep. Um, well, as great as you can in a hotel room, but it was very quiet. Everything was really nice. We got all packed up. It's around 7.30 in the morning. We're not gonna board the ship until noon, but we decided to go ahead and have a special breakfast this morning. So stay tuned to find out where we're headed. We parked the car. We are here at 8.05 for our 8.15 breakfast reservation. You can check in early, um, about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and check us in so our table maybe be ready when we get in there. I will say that they did ask for our last name and we're able to pull up my reservation at the little uh, check-in desk when you pull into the Polynesian Resort, which was very cool. Cause usually you're like scrambling, making sure you can prove that you're where you're supposed to be. And they had my last name all ready to go, so. I love Disney. So a fun fact about the Polynesian Resort, it actually opened the same year as 
Walt Disney World, the Magic Kingdom Park, and they offer deluxe accommodations as well as DVC. I think the Polynesian Resort definitely may be my very favorite Disney Resort. We just got the text that our table is ready, so we're heading to the host stand. We're going to go to Kona Cafe. Um, they did recently remodel this just about a month ago, so we're excited to see the updates. All right, so I ordered Mickey Waffles. Um, I'm also ordered, we also are splitting a tong of toast, but there's something about going on Disney property. I have to get Mickey Waffles. They just hit differently. They're so good. They're my, my favorite things. So I don't know that it's not like the thing to get here, but I had to get a side of Mickey Waffles. We put the strawberry compote on the tonga toast. What? <laughs> so um, overall our breakfast was really good. I would give the Tonga toast a six out of seven scrummies. I think that the toast itself was really good. I wish ours had a little bit more filling, but what made that toast was the strawberry compote filling um, drizzle that we put on top. Super good. Um, and then I would say that the Mickey waffles are a seven out of seven because um, if you're at Disney, you need to get Mickey waffles. We made it through security and we are about to board. Uh, we have our paper boarding passes. Um, we'll get our sail and sign cards when we get to our room. It is about 12.30 or so. So we're gonna head on the ship, muster, drop our bags, um, cause we can, cause our priority. And then we are going to go get some food. So right now we're just gonna take our carry-ons with us. We're headed up the gangway. This is my favorite part of a cruise. Oh my goodness, and there's the ship. It's looking great. And here we are on the Carnival Freedom. When we first get aboard, um, there's a bar ready to go along with stations so you can buy your internet plan or um, purchase a lanyard if you don't have one. Um, here on deck three, you also have guest services. And then opposite of us in the lobby is the shark excursion desk. So the main lounge showroom will be up here. So the first thing you do when you get aboard is you're going to go to your muster station. Here on the Carnival Freedom, they're all located on deck four, either port side or starboard, depending on which um, muster station you're in. If you are in A, C, E, or G, you will be starboard. If you're on B, D, F, or H, you are gonna be port side. And so it's a real quick safety briefing and you just go onto deck and they will demonstrate how a life preserver is put on. They scan your sail and sign card and then you are good to go. We have made it to deck nine. So we're gonna go check out our stateroom. As you can see, we are forward, starboard side, room 9209. Door, and as soon as you walk in, we have a king size bed. Perfect. A nightstand. There are no plugs there, so nothing to plug into. But we have two nightstands, some really cool artwork, a mirror, and then I believe this is going to be our mini fridge. Yep. And we have closets. And then we have this desk here with some drawers and our television. And the makeup mirror and the only plug in the room is located right there. So note that there are not extra plugs. If you open this here, that's gonna be your safe. And that's our little tiny room. I love it though, cause it's, it's small, but definitely spacious for two people. Like there's definitely enough room for the two of us. There is not a couch in this room. So you do get like a little table, but you would have to eat in bed or use this little chair. Here is the bathroom. So it's very standard for carnival. You have your walk-in shower with shampoo and shower gel. Your little artwork. And then the lights, the mirror, 
that's it okay we're here on deck nine lido in the freedom restaurant for our very first lunch we are here on the upper level looking overlooking the buffet let's go see what we can find the first meal, I made a salad with spinach. We got a pasta and some pizza. We had our deck party, the ship's now pulling away from Port Canaveral, and we are gonna go get ready for our first dinner. We have your time dining, so we're gonna head to the Chic Restaurant on deck number three. Hello. Hello. All right, we're going to our section now. Right up here. This is the chic dining room and they do the your time dining. Be seated right here at this booth. Thank you. All right, so I have my menu pulled up here in the Carnival Hub app. I'm gonna pick a bread, a starter, an entree and a dessert all at once here. And um, Carnival allows you to pick as many appetizers and desserts as you'd like. For entrees, you can pick one, and then after that, each additional one is $5, and then they also have the steakhouse options as an upcharge as well. So this is the quesadilla, and we're gonna try that now. And here is the chicken parmesan. Looking pretty scrummy. How's it going? This is our favorite waiter yeah. on board the whole entire cruise ship. <laughs> and he made me a tuxedo, it's so cute. I should have recorded him making it. I'll have him make it again tomorrow. <laughs> and for dessert, I have the carnival melting cake and it's a hidden Mickey. Let's see. It's perfectly big. All right, so that ended our meal. It was a great, I highly recommend the chicken parmesan and of course the carnival melting cake. I think my favorite appetizer though is the strawberry soup which is a carnival classic. It's been here since the first day I cruised and I hope that they keep it on the menu forever. I finished up our dinner. I went back and realized that I have sparkly stretchy pants. So I put those on cause that's super fun. And as the cruise goes on, I will probably be wearing clothes that have more stretch to them cause let's be real, we're eating and drinking a lot or at least eating a lot. Um, so we are going to head to the comedy club and the piano bar and whatever else looks good and probably get some drinks from Alchemy because that's where the best drinks are at. We do have the cheers package, which means we have um, unlimited drinks. However, um, the alcohol mixes with my motion sickness medication and so I probably won't be drinking. <laughs> we have the Alchemy bar, which we absolutely love and our favorite bartender later. This is like way too packed right now. Which is actually my favorite spot on the entire ship. This is Scott's Piano Bar.
So that sums up our first day here aboard the Carnival Freedom. Uh, yesterday we had a really long travel day going from Michigan to Toledo to Universal Studios, Florida, and then this morning going over to Disney and having a scrumptious breakfast at the Polynesian Resort. So we're really excited now to be on the seas headed toward the Bahamas and we are just so excited to get this cruise kicked off. We plan on doing some more cruise videos for you. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please consider, consider doing so. It is a huge compliment for us. It does not cost you anything, but it means the world to us. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this video and we can't wait to see you in our next one.